Every year, more than 1,500 FIRST Robotics competition teams around the world build a robot to meet new challenges and perform specific tasks in a head-to-head -head competition. They all use RoboRio, and many use LabVIEW. They get 44 days to complete this audacious goal. We're going to do it in three. Who is crazy enough to lead this band of NI Applications Engineers? Hi, my name is April Redet. And I'm an ELP engineer here at National Instruments. I'm also the project manager for this year's RA3D team. I'm really excited for this because it will give us a chance to experience what you rookie teams go through and allow us to better support you. I was ever on an FRC team in high school, so I'm really excited for the chance to build a robot. We're really familiar with RoboRio and LabVIEW and the general control systems, but this is a new experience for us. It's going to be really exciting and it's going to take a lot of teamwork to do. We're, we might fail, but we're also going to have some really cool successes. We've got a great team put together this year, and I'm really excited to get started on this project. Let's go meet the rest of the team. Uh, my name is Ian Klingenberg. Uh, I'm an applications engineer at National Instruments. I've been here for a year and two months now. Uh, I studied honors mechanical engineering at McGill University, uh, and I'm going to be the mechanical lead for our Robot in Three Days team. My name is Kelly. I work in applications engineering at National Instruments. I've been here for 19 months now, um, and I'm excited for Robot in Three Days. Hey, my name is Derek. Uh, I am an Applications Engineer at National Instruments, and I've been with NI for about a year and a half now. Hi, I'm Roxy. I am an Applications Engineer at National Instruments, and I've been here approximately 11 months now. Hi, my name is Anna Johnson. Um, I'm an Applications Engineer at National Instruments, and I've been working here for about a year and a half. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Yep. Okay. Um, my name is Helena, and I'm an applications engineer, and I've been at NI for a year and a half. My name is Jordan, I'm an applications engineer, and I've been working at NI for about nine months. Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm a product marketing engineer here at National Instruments. I've been here almost three years. What excites me most about Robot in Three Days is that I've seen it happen like on YouTube and various other medias. And I never thought I'd actually be part of a robot in three days team. Building a robot in three days, the thought of building a robot in six weeks already overwhelms me. So the thought of it in three days is so, I guess, I'm so overwhelmed that I'm not whelmed at all. So I'm super excited. The most exciting part is to be able to actually uh, see it come to life. What's your favorite thing about robots? Uh, I don't know. My favorite thing about robots is their potential to get us closer to Wally. So satisfying to have this uh, your idea come to life. Really cool stuff. You grab things, you can drop things, you can zoom around. You can be able to see it in front of you doing everything you dreamed it can do. Like converting whatever you have in your imagination or your mind and changing that into you know, something that's in the real world. The, the vision element of the robot, I think it's really cool that they can have Something similar to what our eyes are, and then make decisions based off of um, what happens. Generic answer, they do stuff, but they do stuff that I tell them to do, so I like being in charge, so that's kind of a neat idea. <laughs> I like being in control. They're pretty cute, too. Um, My biggest concern is just whether we have uh, enough resources available to us to quickly iterate through design. Uh, a lot of newness and a lot of experiences that most of us haven't undertaken taken before. Um, Sleep deprivation would be my number one. When I've worked with FRC teams in the past, you know, we get six weeks. So uh, scaling that down to three days is going to be quite quite a challenge. We don't even know what we're supposed to build yet, so. Uh, hanging out in the garage for three full days is something I haven't done in a long, long time. Just working together and having everybody find their own groove might take a little bit of iteration. Am I scared of failing? I. It's not really a fear of failure, it's kind of like an excitement for failing. Um, I've been an engineer long enough where I know that every failure is just one step closer to success. I don't think I'm scared of failing. Uh, failure helps you learn. In Robot in Three Days a little bit, um, I've had lots of build seasons under my belt. Three days is a, it's a pretty big change, uh, so I think we can do it, um, but 
it's gonna be it's gonna be intense. It's always a learning opportunity to figure out what you can do better or maybe how you can improve next time. It might not be as pretty and as perfect as we want it to be, but I think we're going to be able to, to learn about each other as a team and I know we're going to, to be successful overall with learning about the program. Well, that's the team. We're really excited to get started. Stay tuned for daily updates and thanks for all of your support. Team and I! Sharks. <laughs> That's awesome.